Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're having a beautiful week so far. Uh, I would like to bring a thought in direction to wealth. So, uh, we can only accumulate so much in relation to material things. And what is interesting is that as much more we accumulate, often more problems we also accumulate. Because, for example, when we buy a house or we buy a second house or a third house, we accumulate problems in relation to every single thing that that house uh, needs to have, you know, uh, insurance or every other protection or if something breaks and you need to take care of or you need to reside in the house because uh, there is a policy. So there are so many uh, issues and, and problems that we will eventually accumulate. Or even if we put the house to be uh, a tenant house, we have those problems too, sometimes with tenants, you know, that they are not good tenants. Also, we can only have so much cars. We can only have so much clothes that we can wear. We have only one body to wear one at a time. As also, we have only one body to drive a car one at a time. But thought process, uh, experiences, accumulation of uh, uh, wealth in relation to health, well, our body has a space to that. And it, it is a space that uh, there is an expansion in, in the plasticity, in the power of plasticity of the body. So if we want to accumulate wealth, that this wealth will be one that doesn't occupy space, but that feel space, like knowledge, like the, the accumulation of memories and experiences, also accumulation of health. How much health can you have? There is never a limit, it's always expensive. You can always expand that uh, uh, health that you bring to your body. You can always increase, expand the, the health and will never be a problem to you as much health you become, healthy you become. The same way is as much knowledge you acquire is not gonna to bring you problems, but more solutions. Because as much more knowledgeable we are, more able we are to deal with problems, more able we are to deal with the challenges and more uh, mindful, more self-disciplined we become. So if you are to accumulate wealth, that this wealth is one that doesn't occupy space, but that expand space, see? Um, and that doesn't bring you problems and worries and fear. Because when we are accumulating wealth, that is material wealth, we are constantly thinking about, uh, you know, the, the next thing that I need to do in order to control this. But when we are accumulating or, you know, engaging daily in bringing healthy to into our bodies, we are not actually worrying, but we are building more and more a sense of peace, a sense of, uh, you know, relaxation and, and calmness because our body will show us the result pretty fast, even faster than an investment financial investment that we do. So I'm not here against us, you know, having uh, material things because all of us as human beings, we do like, and I, me, myself, I'm very vain too. But there is only so much that we can do. Our focus, what I'm saying as a human being, should not be there, but should be in the biggest longevity that we can acquire as a human beings, which are one that will you know, extend our, our existence as human beings, which is knowledge, because help, help us with our memory, help us with uh, you know, our joviality, joviality, we become more dynamic. We we help you know our thought process, our our body in general, our sense of uh, self, our spiritual world, inner world. So it's extremely extremely important that we actually shift our focus. Where is you know our focus lately? If it is in the wealth, that it will be a wealth that is based on healthy or health 
and uh, you know knowledge accumulate knowledge because this one is gonna to help you to exist longer okay because we become like I said more mindful more disciplined more peaceful within self I hope that this message has made sense to you I hope you're having a beautiful day and I'll talk to you soon thank you bye